is up, guys? It's Mr. Suya Girl coming at you with the first round two match of the OSS 2019 reunion tournament that happened January 26th. That was the Saturday tournament. So anyhow, guys, the map is QAI Labs. And uh, let's see who the players are. Oh, no. It's Captain Munchies. Ooh, ooh. Spawning in as the blue Aeon Commander, dropping down a whole bunch of eco. Ooh woo, indeed, Captain Munchies. Check out his YouTube channel, by the way, guys. It is in the descri description down below. Oh, he's getting a double air factory opener. Way to go, Senpai, Captain Munchies. And let's see who his opponent is. It is Hope, spawning in as the orange UEF commander, dropping down a single air factory. And then some more eco. Let's see. Let's speed this up and let's see how these guys get rolling on here. So anyhow, guys, you may wonder why I said uwu and all that stuff. I'm, I'm not a big fan of people actually saying that stuff. Oh, we actually went a single air factory. My goodness. Um, I'm not a big fan of saying all that stuff. I, I say that ironically, ironically, and so does Captain Munchies. Um, so don't think we're actually weebs or anything like that. Or neck beards. So anyhow, here comes a a scout for hope. And they just pass right by each other. A scout for Captain Munchies, but it is going to be intercepted by that wasp. And Captain Munchies will see that Hope went double air factory. Right now, hopefully Captain Munchies responds with a land factory. That would work out really well for him. Get a land factory and a an air factory and a land factory for Captain Munchies. That could go pretty well against UEF because UEF has to balance bombers and wasps, wasp production at that point, which could be very difficult to do. But there's the land factory for Captain Munchies. I mean, excuse me, for Hope. I was just hoping Captain Munchies was going to do that. But so the land and air combination for Captain Munchies will pretty much not happen. And Captain Munchie needs a shutdown production of his air. Suck up some delicious yummy yummy mass. Gets oh no, don't build an air tower. Oh boy. Oh no, get the Munchies drew, drew build build an air tower. Oh that is not what you want to do because that's like two hundred mass that you could have built you could have used to build a land factory. A single anti air on a factory would work. Yeah that's like four hundred mass somewhere around there. Three hundred mass? I don't know. It's a lot of mass, and there's some delicious, yummy, yummy, succulent mass right there chilling inside of a factory. Oh, I got sucked up. Good job, Captain Munchies, with sucking up that delicious, yummy, yummy mass. And we see a transport. I knew Hope was going transport. Probably should have said it, but, you know, I could have guarantee that Hope would do that because he's running around in his star lifter with at least four transport, uh, four MMLs in there. Sending his wasp fighters out in front. So let's see how he uses them. He's definitely going to use them to take out mass extractors. I mean, there's no doubt about that. And then there's a forward anti-air tower. Ooh, an engineer. Interesting. So that engineer goes back into the transport. Oh, one pass! That was a great bombing run by Captain Munchies, taking out all five of those MMLs. Now, the Starlifter goes down with an engineer inside. That is, that's a hefty investment. Killed. And what happened to the engineer? I guess the engineer got killed by the, by the MMLs. That is a strong thing to, uh, that is a, a sad thing to lose. You don't want to lose a... Um, you don't want to lose an engineer. Especially when you only start with two. And he was building up a radar. So now Captain Munchies can't see. Does he, is he putting a radar on his factory at least to compensate? No. He's trying to build another fa uh, air factory. Which might not be a bad idea. But against UEF Air... <laughs> Going all air is probably not going to work for you. 
because he's got two UEF Air Factories, and uh, he's definitely ahead in air. Once you lose air in this game, usually it's pretty much that's it. I mean, you, I, you could win it back. It's happened before, but it's really, really, really hard. And against a player like Hope, Hope, Hope is an amazing player. He's getting his third UEF Air Factory, and we all know how fast UEF build air. And the Starlifter is being... It's being escorted by the Wasps. Now, if Hope had a radar, he would... I mean, if Captain Munchies had a radar, he would have been able to see this and maybe have been able to intercept it. And see, one, one or two passes will take out that Starlifter, no problem. And there are six MMLs. And a factory. Hopefully that, I mean, an engineer. Hopefully that engineer sucks up that delicious yummy yummy mass. And yeah, just like I said, um, at this point, we do both are not going to easily be able to fight against the the wasps. The wasps are just going to sit over the factories. They're going to take some AA fire, but they're going to take out every single we do both that comes out of there. Captain Munchies was able to take out a whole bunch of, uh, pretty much take out all the MMLs that were that went into his base. A couple of MMLs ran away to destroy that anti-air tower, but he was able to take out the ones inside of his base. Captain Munchies going after the heavy point defense, taking some point defense fire, not bad, and capturing a... An engineer. This engineer makes up for that engineer that he lost, so that's pretty cool. That engineer immediately goes to work to repairing the commander. Now, nice split by Hope. Hope splits his MMLs. Those MMLs, are, it's going to take a couple passes to take them out because there are not enough bombers. And it's going to take a couple of meteors, meteor uh, attacks to take out that mass extractor. If that engineer went over there to that mass extractor, that mass extractor would... Oh my goodness, he kept it alive either way, taking out those MMLs. So, Captain Munchies doesn't really have a force at all. Suck up that Starlifter. Yes, Captain Munchies is the man. Suck him out that delicious, yummy, yummy mass in that Starlifter. Now, that mass, yo... Hope is getting an air gantry, so we're going to probably see some AC1K play here. And we got a research station, which is seriously going to put Hope ahead in the research game. And there is a, another star lifter. Picks up the engineer. Well, we know where that engineer is going to go. He's going to go in back to build two mass extractors. Well, that is not a huge gain. But it's better than zero. Well, there's three. There's the one up here. And I'm sure I could go over... Well, no, those are... We do boats. That engineer is on a... Yeah, I like that. Sucking up that delicious yummy yummy mass. That mass, everybody, I love it. And now we got shields on the we do boats. I wonder if he's got flares. That could make those a very powerful force. But there's, the numbers on the Wasp are just so high right now. Putting down another energy generator. Um, usually experimentals, these miners, minor experimentals like the AC-1K, are pretty energy intensive. They're, they're pretty costly for mass, but they're usually pretty energy intensive in terms of cost as well. Hope is playing very well. He... Um, has two extra mass extractors, so he puts that puts him up four mass extractors, going on five if he gets that top one. Yeah, he's going to go for that. So it's going on five mass extractors ahead of his opponent. On top of being in command of the air, pretty much 100%. He shut down that land factory, so he doesn't really need that land factory anymore. But this AC-1K is going to do a tremendous amount of damage. Unless... Captain Munchies could walk back to his main base and put up a shield because that's a that's, that's a good amount of AA over there. Oh man! Oh no! That poor engineer. 
That's a lot of Captain Munchie's income right there. Oh, he does have flares. And down goes that AC1K. Will Captain Munchies be able to secure the win? No, he's not going to be able to take out that those errors. Despite him having the the, the redir redirecting flares. That's, that's a bummer. Yeah, Hope just has the, the numbers here. That's a bummer for Captain Munchies. But Hope has the number advantage and that is really hard to come back from especially against UEF but four air factories could pump out a bunch of we do boats however there are three UEF air factories and still this large group here so getting back into that getting back into the air fight is going to be very difficult especially with AC1Ks forcing um, forcing Captain Munchies to push in and take those out Fire, flying into the big cloud of of wasps, just losing a whole bunch of air before he could even fight back to the wasps. And there is a a land factory probably pumping out MMLs. And there is the AC1K going out to the Starlifter. I think that Starlifter is actually a decoy. And Hope gets shield shields on his plane so that's the right move and that ac1k survives takes out a mass extractor and goes after the factory shield probably aiming after captain munchies himself probably trying to get a shield on the other factory oh an, an aa tower Oh, is that factory going to survive? No, there's just way too much damage on that factory. Is Captain Munchie going to get a shield, or is he going to use... There's a... He got the shield. It's not up, though. Oh, there it is. There's the shield. Captain Munchie's is only delaying the inevitable. However, um, it's a good effort. I do like that. So, I think this is... Pretty much it for Captain Munchies. And those we do both fly into the wrong spot, unfortunately. And two AC1Ks. And boom! Down goes Captain Munchies. That is unfortunate. Like I said, those are a bunch of MMLs coming out. Take out Captain Munchies' base. So, um, ooh woo. Sorry for Captain Munchies being ejected from the game, but he was able to commentate with us on the live stream. Check that on his channel. Check that out at twitch.tv with Spiff because they are both fun to watch. And it was always it's always good to have Captain Munchies commentate with us because he's a great guy. Jeff, definitely check out his YouTube channel down in the description down below. We love us some Captain Munchies. He's the newest member of OSS, so welcome to the team, Captain Munchies. We're more of a social club than a competitive um, clan nowadays. So welcome to it. Hopefully that helps you out. We love having you around. You could come hang out with us during tournaments. That is awesome. And Hope, very well done there, man. You are an awesome player. Do appreciate what you have done. Um, in terms of donating to myself, my, my Patreon, and to the tournament fund. You are truly an awesome guy, and you did amazing in this match, securing air and hitting Captain Munchies with MML. So that was truly awesome, and you move on to round three. So well played there, Hope. Awesome job. And uh, thank you for continuing on. And thank you for joining us on a Saturday. And Captain Munchies, thank you for, for the same thing. So, guys, like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Favorite because it helps me out. Send your good replays to stillspeaks at gmail.com. And I am not checking out new submissions for a little while because I have, I have to do this tournament. And I also have a Forged Alliance Forever cast because I, I do at least one of those a month, guys. So... Please bear with me if you see that come out before I do all of the casts for Supreme Commander 2 for the for the tournament. So guys, I have a Patreon page. That money goes to 
what would I say? That money goes to tournaments, especially if you want to go to tournaments. Let me know. Click the, send me an email. Let me know you you sent me some cash, and let me know what you want that cash to be used for. If you want it to go to something that I like to buy, like buy me dinner and all that stuff, uh, or to the tournaments because it's your money and you like to see where it goes. You know what I mean? So hook it up. If not, that is fine. That is fine too. So I think about that time, guys. I think I think it's time to conclude this. Share with your friends, family, and foes because they need something interesting to watch as well. And as always, everyone, G-G. Says,